In the mid-1990s, a group of train enthusiasts formed New Mexico Steam and Locomotive Historical Society for the purpose of restoring AT&SF 2926 to full running condition. Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe 2926 is a 4-8-4 steam locomotive originally built in 1944 by Baldwin Locomotive Works. This locomotive was part of the last group of steam passenger locomotives built for the Santa Fe Railway. The railroad used the locomotive in both fast freight and passenger service, accumulating over 1 million miles of usage before its last revenue run on December 24, 1953. The city of Albuquerque displayed the locomotive as a static exhibit in Coronado Park until it was sold to the New Mexico Steam Locomotive and Railroad Historical Society on July 26, 1999. The locomotive was moved to its current location near the intersection of 8th Street and Haynes Avenue, where it is undergoing restoration to operating condition by the society. When the restoration is completed, 2926 will be the largest operating 484 Northern Type steam locomotive in the United States. As of January 2018, New Mexico Steam Locomotive and Railroad Historical Society members have put in 166,000 hours of volunteer labor and spent over $2.8 million on the project. On August 20th, 2018, for the first time in 63 years, the boiler was lit and smoke could be seen coming from the stack. As steam pressure built up, the pipes were tested for leaks. This is a very complicated machine and leaks were found and repaired. On August 22, 2018, an open house was held to celebrate the first fire in the boiler in decades. The fire was lit and the steam generated, but as luck would have it, another leak was discovered. Despite that, we had a great visit and met some nice people. switch engine pushing cars around. I mean, this was heaven, you know, I mean, this is what I want to do, Dad. And, uh, and so he walked me back home and I got a train for Christmas, which I still have. <laughs> and uh, so it, it's, you know, it's that kind of a, it, it was like a disease. My, my boss out at Sandia said, is this genetic? <laughs> Why are you spending all this time on this dang, on this dang engine? Now that's, uh, I think you the way you're feeling. We were both at the first meeting. He's the one that gets me up here all the time. You know, that, I've written a couple of articles about this. Thank you. Know, this well, I would really, another. I would really love to be able to drive our engine down to, to Socorro. That would just be, gets me. Wouldn't that be wonderful? It would, it would. Yeah. 
a tourist train or something? Or something? Well, we have we have various passenger car owners who want to ride behind us, and they're willing. I mean, these people must be pretty well healed because they can get their cars out. Here. And if we could get them out here and get our engine in front, you know, and you do have a Y in support. So you turn around. You turn around and come back, and there's a Y in Albuquerque. You know both both places. Of course, there's one in Berlin, but that's a little dicier because they have 100, 100 plus trains a day. Just shy of incredible. And that would have been incredible if we'd have gotten this thing all the way up to maximum pressure. 240, I heard. We got to 240, 250. We did not get to, 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 to as we were up to that point, we were doing everything with air. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to cut over the steam, and that's when that valve. Let's just say gave up the ghost, mm -hmm. and uh, and then we had to shut down and repair it. We tried re we tri we reheated yesterday afternoon, and then this morning when we were getting up in pressure, we had another uh, uh, we found another uh, small item that said, we better not we better not take it up anymore. So we had to stop mm -hmm. and. Uh, about 260. Oh, you mean all of the things that are on there? Those will all be steam driven, mm -hmm. or else air driven. You know, basically, when 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 we can when we can make air off the compressors in the front. We don't have the air compressors connected right now because they are steam driven. Right. Okay. So we will have to have. I think I think there are two stage: a large and a small piston. The small piston for high pressure. And the organization still has to work a lot with the railroad and everyone else before we can get off the sprint. Um, how long have you got? <laughs> yeah, that tells you. Uh, anyway, we are, well, as a matter of fact, the Southwest Chief, uh, being saved, or we hope being saved, will maintain a, a line north that we'll be able to use. We hope to get to Las Vegas, because Las Vegas really wants us there. The only problem with Las Vegas uh, is that to get there is one of the toughest pieces of track on the entire Santa Fe line. Yeah, that's a two and a half percent grade. It's, it's three percent. Uh, it's actually three percent over, uh, at least Lord, according, Lord, to the track, according to the track chart, yeah. yes. And it is also curvy as all get out. There are there's a curve about every mile there, and it hardly ever gets straight. So your speeds are very low, and your water and fuel usage are very high. Uh, based on what I calculated, we are looking at 49,000 gallons of water to go from here to Las Vegas to turn around at French, which is a Y north of Las Vegas. That's a long way from Vegas too. I'm sorry? That's a long way from Las Vegas too. Well, it's the closest place to turn around. Right, right. So either we come back backwards, which nobody seems to be no. real hot to do, <laughs> or we turn around in French, because they took out the Y at French. I mean at Las Vegas. Las Vegas, yeah. Oh, that was gone years ago. Well, and if you have any pull, tell them to put it back, because we really need it. I wish I do. They don't listen to retired Now, teachers. do you have a water tank up there that you'd have to add more water to? What's it? There is water. I don't know about a tank. We have. There's water in Las Vegas. There's also supposedly water in Glorietta. Okay. And we're going to need to fill up right. on the way there because we will run out of water before right. we get to Las Vegas. Right. And so we need to have more water and then we will fill up again in Las Vegas to go up to French and back mm -hmm. where we will fill up again and then we can we can make it from Las Vegas back mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. filling up. Because you'd be going down. Well, well mostly. Yeah. yeah. There, you, you do have one hill going into into Glorietta, but from basically from Lamy into Albuquerque is all downhill. And curiously, it's all uphill. It's sort of like going to school. You remember when you had to walk to school yeah. uphill both ways? Well, that seems to be... <laughs> <laughs> Through the snow, too. <laughs> anyway, so... Well, the other problem John was talking about, I don't know if this is for a test run or whatever he was talking about, is there's a trussing bridges that are, like, by Laney and stuff that aren't, like, meant for this kind of weight of oh, this engine. Well, uh, there's there's a fair amount of rumor and misinformation about that. The, the only well, bridge... No, no, it, no, I'm not... I'm not <laughs> yeah. You you have brought up an interesting... 
there is one one trestle uh -huh. just this side of Bernalillo okay. that will not take our tender at full okay. weight. Okay. That's the one we have to accommodate. So when we leave here, uh -huh. we will have to be at less than fully loaded tender. Okay. Yeah. We'll have to be at we'll have to be a, a, about three thousand gallons of water light. Mm -hmm. Okay, that'll 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 put us in a position to be able to go over that bridge, assuming that we burn some water up. Yeah, mm -hmm. this remains to be seen, but right. I'm pretty sure we will since we. Are you talking about one of those timber timber bridges along the highway? Well, it's of the old road. road? Uh, yes, so the ones that are that are adjacent to uh, U.S. to We used to be eighty-five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, it's the it's the original Santa Fe line that came right. into Albuquerque, the one that went over Florida, Raton Pass, yes. came into Albuquerque, and one that they don't. I mean, the Santa Fe stopped using it when mm -hmm. the passenger train stopped, and the BNSF stopped using it when they've double tracked. Well, actually, even before that, so they've double tracked their their transcom through uh, Oklahoma, uh, Texas Panhandle through here and to Berlin and Albuquerque where's that it is really well we're in the same boat yeah and except for the Southwest chief mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to have a through train through here mm -hmm. ever again if they if they did you hear that yes. goofy idea of putting a bus line in between oh, please what was it between Dodge and Dodge and, and uh, Albuquerque. Dodge and yeah, Albuquerque. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I, I put some flyers down there on your table about the whole issue if anybody wants to grab them. Mm -hmm. Well, I wrote that Heinrich and those guys. Good, good, yeah. Yeah. Thank well, you they, for doing they that. actually, I think, did something good for our state. I think they went to bat for us right. and got some money allocated. I'm not sure we got the money. It's got to go through the house and, and you then guys sign into law. <laughs> Good luck there, here, right? I mean, this. I mean, that's what you're talking about. This ant, like, well, fight Amtrak with is is not thrilled with uh, maintaining. The working dog. That's great. I love the working dog. Okay.